Last week we showed you an abandoned chateau and some of you were a little frustrated that we didn't buy that chateau and start renovating it. We listened to you and this week we're going to show you our abandoned mansion that we bought five years ago and we've almost finished renovating it. Come inside. So I'll take you back to five summers ago. It was 2017. We were looking on the internet. After about a month, a month and a half of searching, I widened the search a little bit on the internet. This place popped up. It wasn't in our budget, but it looked like, a, for all intents and purposes, a mini chateau. And as soon as I saw it, I thought, yeah, there's something, something there. And so I showed, showed you, didn't I, Anna? Yes, you did. And uh, we managed to get to see the place two days later. We were that lucky that the actual advertisement had only gone out like a day or two before. It was meant to be. As we came through the gates um, with the agent, we, of course, spotted the pillars um, that we were just loving. Um, but I did notice that the, the majority of the garden uh, was taken up by a kind of circular path, um, like a driveway, and then the garage was actually on the other side of the building, so there was no garden as such. Um, that seemed completely ludicrous to me, um, and was definitely one of the first things we were gonna change if we bought the place. Once I decided to change the position of where the garage was gonna be, it also brought into chance the possibility that we could maybe do an extension where the garage was, just to give the, the mansion a, a bit more of a formal feel to it. So yeah, basically we went to Batimont de France because the actual facade is protected and the Batimont de France were very, very persistent in the fact that they said they wanted a mirror image kind of uh, facade because the facade as it is already is a mirror image, not quite but we'll go and have a look. So the very first few times you look at the building, you think, yes, it's not a stone out of place. Well, actually, there's a thin slither of kind of rubble stone there and a slightly bigger slither of rubble stone there. Basically, this is a facade that has been put on the front of an older building and that was in 1874. And then a few years later, the Mary actually copied this facade, the local Mary, but in a smaller uh, size, so more prestigious building than the Mary. Well, let's go have a look at what I did to the garage. So by keeping the cars towards the road, it means we can create a private garden and along with a private garden, a pool area. Chacha, what are you doing, my best friend? I cannot be to give them to daddy. 
Oh, that's, that's not for you. It's too heavy. You're helping mommy and daddy? Yep. You're the best little assistant, you know that. And you can see the full process of us building this pool um, in front of this extension where the garage used to be. There is a vlog um, quite a few months ago now, but we'll put the link in the description. We'll go inside in a minute, but basically it's creating a huge living area with indoor outdoor area for eating and, um, and yeah, really nice patio around, around a pool area. All completely private from the road because we're going to be planting some trees. Some of the eagle-eyed viewers will have noticed that there was some palm trees on the old photograph that we put up at the start of the vlog. Unfortunately, they got eaten by a certain moth that literally burrows into the top and kills them. Basically, the first year we had the place, we didn't really do much work. Came back six months later after, after not doing anything here for a while and both trees had been eaten by the moth. The actual facade, we haven't done much to yet. We have all of these shutters to repair. So they're all going to get repaired and then some are going to be replaced on the other side because on the other side they are plastic and that is not allowed on a protected building. So we're going to be putting those back to wooden shutters like this. Um, apart from that, all I've done is clean the front of the building with, um, with bleach. Now I had some help from Billy Petrick on that. Yes, he did the, the top part, didn't he? And you can see him there waving at us on that little video. I'm sorry it's in portrait, but that's <laughs> the only video I did. Pump harder, Billy. Um, but anyway, let's go in because that is where we fell in love with the place the instant we walked through that front door, isn't it, Anna? Yes, that is it. Oh, actually, before we go inside, if you've not subscribed to our channel already, please do so. Um, if you're really enjoying the look of this building, you are miles behind so many vlogs. Um, we've literally done over 100 vlogs here. So if you like the look of the building and want to know how we got to this point, then uh, there's lots of vlogs for you to catch up on. I think one of my favorite was our seven day challenge where we renovated the dining room in seven days. I love that. Let's go in. So you can see now, um, everything's very light and airy in here. Um, there are defects. We kept these for a reason, because we wanted to pre preserve the old Cornish, the old plaster work in here. So you can see up here, everything looks perfect on, on video. If you zoom in up here, you can see there's a crack in the Cornish there. Um, I you think- You have to really go close there. Yeah, I think, I prefer that we see that rather than trying to redo everything and make it like new. Um, and as you can see from the old photo, it was a hideous yellow and brown paint combo. Now, in another vlog that we did, um, some people were saying, oh God, I can't believe you painted the wood. We didn't paint the wood. The wood was already painted brown and it had been kind of repaired and, and, and so it was already long gone the fact that there was wood there so we just literally repaired the paintwork that had already been done and then painted this kind of bluey gray color on top there are in fact three colors in this room so you have this kind of blue color mm -hmm, light blue the d gray mm -hmm. and then the white yes. and so that same gray is down here and uh, yeah i think it comes across it looks amazing and really you can well. see more of it on this door there even though it had these defaults the color scheme the breaks in the plaster no electrics no radiators we walked in here and we fell in love with the property didn't we anna yes we did even just to get this light here 
it was a lot of work. We had to cut holes in the ceiling, chisel out through the walls, take wires back to the board, and then um, radiators. The radiators we put in are all cast iron, antique radiators that I've had um, sandblasted and repainted to try and keep things in keeping. We equally fell in love with the mosaic floor and the staircase. The mosaic floor needed some reparation here and there. It wasn't particularly easy to do. We did have really good fun choosing the crystal balls to go on the, uh, on the staircase with Michael Petrick. Yeah, um, Michael chose yeah. these ones, didn't he? Yeah. He's got good taste. Let's go through into the salon, which was possibly the worst room in the whole house. So in here, the only things that we have actually kept from the original room, as you can see on the photo, are the mirrors, the fireplace, and the doors, the beautiful doors. We had to completely put a new ceiling in, and then this corniche is a brand new corniche gone in. And then the doors behind you, Anna, are another feature that we added to this room because we needed to access the extension as well. The mirrors, we did do a little bit of work on those mirrors, mainly cleaning, but I did have to repair one of the, um, well, I had to create a mold and remold one of the little finials on the edges. On the other side of the hall is the dining room. This is the, the room that we did the seven day challenge on. To be fair, we did choose an easy room to do it on. All that needed to be done in this room was cleaning up of the floors and then repairing the walls and then painting really. So we did get away with it quite lightly. Ed? Yeah, I'm in here. So we're in the dining room. Oh yes, would anybody like to uh, <laughs> eat in our dining room? <laughs> Uh, no, we, we're, uh, we're just getting started, so basically the first thing is move all the tools and move the furniture. I'm not going to lie to you, Ed. I am pulling with all my weight. You'll have to see, watch those videos to see if we actually, uh, we actually do it in seven days or not. Um, but I think this, this room en ended up being really good. Uh, we've not got much further since, apart from uh, dusty footprints coming in and out um, but yeah we're uh, we're really happy with this aren't we yes let's go through into the kitchen I've got some old photos of the kitchen itself and from these photos you can see the difference you could see it was a gloomy small kitchen with a back room that was full of uh, like soil floors and uneven floors and there was just there was just really no uh, no need to to keep it as such a small kitchen really for such a grand house. We took the wall out. You can see my writing on uh, the wall there saying I'm going to put two I IPN, which are like H beams in, so they're 20 centimeter by 20 centimeter. So we put a massive beams in and took that load bearing wall out so that we had a nice L shaped kitchen. And this is what we have today. Big cleanup operation will be in this uh, kitchen area. Turning around here, this is where the what the French call a piano is, which is the main grill. We've got rid of some of the furniture that was in here and now you can see the size of the room. It's, it's really a lot bigger. Any of those little lines, just go over again sideways. That's it, keep going all the way down. Just move them out a bit.
Okay. Wow. A nice bright room these days. This is only on the show. Uh huh. We're in the kitchen. Wow. You like it? I love it. Especially over there, it's looking nice and bright. So you can see really nice airy room. Where the room used to finish, somewhere around here, I think it was. Um, we put those beams in. Still not quite finished, so we've got little bits and bobs to do here and there. But you can see how beautiful this room is now. And uh, with all the lights, it's nice and bright too. It is really, really nice. Everything's got a bit dusty because we've been working in the extension, which we'll come back to in a bit. Let's go over the other side of the hall now. to one of my favorite rooms, which is the cinema room. Now, originally, Anna, what was your idea of this room? What were we gonna do with this area? Well, I think I was gonna knock it over through the other side. Yeah, you wanted to knock it in, put some pillars yes. in to make it look very kind of Rococo style and have it as part of the uh, salon. Yes, that, that, that room true. that was in such a mess. Um, we decided against it, and I think it was for the better. You can see it was a room with no windows in, in the photo. Um, and it just lent itself perfectly to being a cinema room. It is perfect. And then you did the ceiling and the carpet guy, because that's what we can call it. It was really nice carpet here, so it's, it's perfect. It's a really nice room now. Anna, do you want to come upstairs with me? Definitely. We need to show everyone the upstairs of the place. I'm coming, I was just showing the details of the stairs. So we'll start with the master bedroom and then literally just have a quick look in each of the other bedrooms because really in the bedrooms all we did was repair plaster work and paint, didn't we? And add a few bathrooms here and there. Yeah, five. <laughs> okay. This is the master bedroom, yeah? You have the uh, doors out onto the balcony. All of the windows and doors have been replaced, but all with wood, nice thick doors. It's all done in the original uh, style rather than plastic or aluminium. This is uh, the grandest bedroom in the property. Again, not much to do out here, really. We just need a quick clean up now, don't we, Anna? Yeah. Shutters still need a bit of TLC. And most people possibly think, oh, get rid of them, throw them away. No, no. there's nothing wrong with those, is there? No, just scraping that off a bit. Yeah, and... Uh, it. Yeah, and get... painting. Uh, inside, of course, full electrics, full plumbing, and we'll have a look in the bathroom in a second. But also, which is quite interesting for 21st century living, is air conditioning ducted in the ceiling, but also 
uh, what the French call a double flux um, exchanger. So takes dirty air out of the bathrooms, puts fresh air in from outside without losing any calories or very little calories. Impressive. Okay. In here, nice big bathroom, a little bit of electric still to finish off down here. Sack the electrician. Sack the electrician, hey? Yeah. For those of you who don't know, I'm doing the electrics here. <laughs> um, so that piece of plasterboard is where the shower's cut. Does that. And then the bath next to it, right next to the window. And then wash basin and toilet. With the bath that was called Anna. And then um, a decent sized shower and double wash basin. Right, it's but really, really... This is, this is one of the, uh, the only bedrooms that we, we had a, a dressing room off. Well, the only bedroom we had a dressing room off. It was already here. We didn't do any work to it, just literally cleaned it up and painted it. Yeah. Um, obviously the floors throughout. But here you go on that side and then I'll come in through here. Yeah, so you're coming from the bedroom. There we go. Yeah, but the, yeah, these are all original. Yeah. And it's a really, really nice dressing area. Yeah, no, it's perfect. And it's got nice light from the, from the bathroom. Don't Although it needs cleaning. Don't look up there, they need cleaning. It's okay. It's like we know it's good. But no, it's really cute that you can come in through the bathroom or through the bedroom and then just get dressed. Which bedroom do you want to see next? Oh, well, wow. we've got one bedroom that's actually nicely dressed. But before we go there, uh -huh. I wanted to talk about a vlog that's coming up. We're going to be doing a vlog on this bedroom, getting it looking good, aren't we, Anna? Yes. That's coming up in a little while, isn't it? Yes. So let's have a little look at the first bedroom we did, actually. Mm -hmm. First bedroom we finished off. Still cute, still adorable. with its period features and ensuite. This is a, our standard ensuite now, isn't it, Anna? This is how the, all the others are done. Yeah. It's just a, a scheme that we found that everybody was liking. Can you wave to the mirror? There you go, Ed. I'm waving to the mirror. But you've got your camera in front of your face. Oh, well, you can't see me. I'm too short. <laughs> The other bedrooms are in some of the other vlogs, so we're not going to go over all of them. We've seen two bedrooms, the master and a normal. Uh, let's go through to the extension so everybody can see what we've been doing in the extension. Um, and both sides, and then the cave as well. Great idea. Okay, through the salon, through these double doors that we put in, um, through to the extension by the pool. You can see it's a lovely, bright room. Unfortunately, we've got a lot of furniture in here at the moment, but you can still see the volumes of space that we have here. This is big. And I was obviously laying all of this parquet, plasterboarding the walls and painting everything along with putting about a million spots in here. For yeah, the but evening. the spots make it. I think it's really nice. Oh, it's... Anna. Well, you found your... No, found Cyril's hat. 
Oh. Oh. So, so for those of you that are new to the channel, we had a um, a guy that was working with us for seven, eight years. Yeah. And he'd been working here during uh, during COVID when we didn't have any weddings. And uh, unfortunately, towards the end of COVID, so about February this year, um, Cyril decided to go on his travels and leave us behind. Yeah, but yeah. we still keep in we touch. still keep in we touch but you yeah. saw him not long ago because you needed a tool so it's not like yeah. we don't hear from him yeah but unfortunately for us he's not here to help us anymore is he no, no. but um, who knows maybe in the future he'll come yeah. back so with this pool being just outside i thought it'd be a really good um thing to have a downstairs kind of shower room and toilet for people that aren't actually living in in the house so just before friends coming across and things like that rather than running up into somebody's bedroom to get changed yeah. uh, plus here we're going to have an a, a um another kitchen so this property is going to have three kitchens the main kitchen summer kitchen here for dining outside and under the uh, porch and then the third kitchen is going to be in the guardian's apartment but we'll come to that in a minute. And then toilets and changing room, yeah. which I'm not going to go too much in because I haven't had the time to clean it. But yeah, it's nice. Yeah, so there we go. Let's go over to the other side because regulars to our channel have not seen how far I've got on with the work over there. So here we are in the kitchen again. We're going to go through into the other extension on the other side. Again, there's lots of vlogs of us laying the floor and uh, doing various bits in this side. But this is the muck room, what the English call a mug mud room. No, the English I think they call it a muck room and the mm -hmm. Americans the... call it a mud room. Oh, okay. Well, I think... It, well, well, the English call it a boot room and the Americans yeah. call it a mud room. I don't know. Wow. Well, whoever so, knows the answer, <laughs> let us know. Yeah. French just call it... What do they call it? A buanderie? Buanderie, yeah. yeah. So, basically, machines are going here for washing um, clothes and drying clothes. Anything like that that you don't really want in your kitchen, it's going to pop in here. 
Through there is the double garage, which mm -hmm. again well, we'll see. storage area now, but yeah. yes. Through here is the Guardian's apartment. So we're getting there now in here. This room I was really worried about. I thought it was going to be quite dingy, but with the two V-Lux, it's really nice and bright in here. Um, regs are different in France. You don't have to have a window in a bedroom. Um, same, exact same principle as in the main house. So there is uh, the double flux system for the fresh air. So dirty air coming out of the kitchen and the bathroom, clean air coming into bedrooms, and also aircon again, which I feel is essential in, in any new French house. These aren't ducted, these are just literally on the wall because it's the Guardian's apartment or friend's apartment. It's not quite as prestigious as the main mansion. No, but it's really nice that it's very nice and light and airy because mm. with the two V-Luxes, yeah. it's perfect, I mean. And we got on with second coat of bands, so the second coat of covering the tape. Now needs a sanding and then we do the final coat with a very minuscule amount of sanding and we're ready to paint. So that's bedroom two, <laughs> because I think the other one's bedroom one. So let's come through. We're all, all about the same stage everywhere here. So everywhere's plasterboarded out and we're ready for second fix electrics and plumbing and painting, basically, nearly. Yeah. So come through. Bathroom's not looking as small as I was worried that it was gonna be, and especially once the shower goes in there. Toilet, there's lots of room, and the wash basin, it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be usable and um, functional. functional, yeah. This is gonna have a loft feel to it on this side. So above this doorway here, we're gonna have a rail with a loft door to close to, and it's gonna have frosting on the inside of the door. This room here is gonna have a loft door that goes into the wall. I like that. And I'm gonna go get the loft window and put it in so you can see the look. Wow. So it's, oh, it's going to be cool to get more light in the bedroom. Oh yeah, it just kind of gives a bit more depth to the bedroom so you don't feel quite as closed in. Let me take that down. I've been covering the windows because I didn't want people peeking in in case they saw my tools and decided to steal my tools. <laughs> but yeah, you can see it's nice. Light room again. Um, I was worried at first again that the road was nearby, but just with normal standard double glazed windows, you can't hear it. Can't really hear the road either. Still got a bit of work to do on the inside and the outside of the windows just to finish them off. But this room's getting there. Yeah. And then this is just a big open plan kitchen, which is going to be in that corner. Dining room, I think, here or over there. And TV area. We'll see. We'll figure that out. Yeah. Um, but this is, this is getting there now. It's looking nice. And I can see our, fa well, my favorite tree. And it's probably doing, yours actually too. Yeah, it's doing really well. Yeah. Again, it was suffering at one time in yeah. an earlier vlog, but it's doing really well now. I think we've got one last little thing to show, which is the cave. And, uh, and then we'll probably be getting on with some work, so we'll have to stop there. Are you coming down, Anna? Yes, I am. And then this has to be dug out in here. Probably going to dig out about 40 centimetres, so that's just... Uh, one foot, what, four inches, something like that. Mm -hmm. So that we can get a concrete base in. This is where we're going to have the, the wine cave, yeah. So you can walk down the middle and all your wine's on either side. Mm, yeah. And then this is a shrine to the wine, uh, wine god. Bacchus. <laughs> but yeah, no, I don't know what that was uh, back in the day, but... Um, well, it's nice. Okay, so this was really not like this when we first got here, was it? No. Uh, you can see from the videos it was a lot lower and a lot grimier. But now it's starting to look like a wine cave. It is, and it looks beautiful. It's missing the wine in the rack, so... <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. 
I hope you enjoyed that quick tour of uh, the mansion. Of course, it's no longer abandoned, but we're getting there now. Um, if you want to follow us, finish this property off to see what it finishes off like, well then you're more than welcome. Just hit that subscribe button and uh, each week we'll be showing you how we get to the finished product. Cheers guys.